All right, y'all, sit down and pop a squat. I know everybody's wanting to know about how I got out of jury duty yesterday. I did a community post, right? I did a community post and I was sitting out of there. Uh, I had to go to small town Mississippi, man. Uh, first off, I want to say if you get selected to be a juror, take that stuff seriously, all right, and be honest. I was honest yesterday, which is why I got my butt kicked out. But if you're a patriot, we need good patriots and good Americans in the judicial process. With that disclaimer, though, I'm going to tell you what happened. I walk in, I am pissed out of my mind. I was not in a good frame of mind. You did not want me as a juror on Monday morning yesterday in small town Mississippi. I got some stuff stolen from me at the ranch. I'm pissed about it. I'm still trying to fi figure it out. So whatever the guy brought that they're about to bring out, I was going to say firing squad. And I was going to talk every last one of those jurors into the firing squad too. You did not want me as a jury yesterday. That's just honest. Okay? So picture this, y'all. Small town Mississippi, little courtroom. There's 120 people that are sitting down. No cell phones allowed in there. And because we ain't got cell phones, it's back to 1990. And we're all sitting there just kind of staring each other down, wondering what to do with our thumbs. <laughs> so we're all sitting in there. And the judge walks in. Door just slams. I'm thinking, oh boy, he's trying to make a trying to make an entrance. All right. He goes up and he's mic'd up. He's got this microphone. And he says, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm gonna walk you through the, the jury process. This is what's expected of you. This is what the jury process is. How many have served on jury, all that kind of stuff. And then he says, I got three questions I'm gonna ask everybody. And those three questions are your quick ticket out of jury duty. Everyone's like, oh hell. Here we go. So, I'm thinking this is going to be easy. First question, I'm going to raise my hand and I'm going to get out of there because, like I said, the mood I'm in, firing squad. You do not want me that day. Uh, he says, number one, is anybody in here under the age of 21? Hell, of course nobody is. That's why we got called in. We all filled it out on the sheet. I'm looking around the room, looking around the room. Nobody's raising their hand. He said, okay, good. Question number two, I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like. What are we going to do? He says, is there anybody in here that's currently a resident from outside of this county? Small town county, Mississippi. Nobody's raising their hand. I'm thinking, there's only one question left. Question number three. I don't care if judge asks if you've ever been physically attracted to a, a, a kangaroo. <laughs> All right, my head is going up on question number three. Question number three comes in and judge says, is there anybody in here who... Ha does not have a total belief in the American judicial process. Whoo! Okay, I love the American judicial process. It's what makes uh, this country so great. Is it a perfect system? Hell no. I have had friends and family who has have their lives ruined by a corrupt American judicial process. It ain't perfect. So no, do I have total belief? I'm sitting here thinking, well, good Lord, I'm under oath. Uh... And I'm in the very back row, the very, very back of 120 people, six feet apart. I raise my hand, and he, nobody can see it except me and the judge. And the judge goes, uh, yes, sir, you, sir, way in the back. And all of a sudden, you ever seen that scene from Men in Black where he scoots the coffee table and just screeches all the way across the floor and everybody turns around? 120 chairs just shuffling all their crap. And there's just judgmental like, who the hell just raised their hand that they don't believe in the American judicial process? This is, you know, small town by God, Mississippi. We're about to see you in the parking lot after this, son. Judge says, yes, sir, you, sir, in the back. And hey, what's your name? I said, uh, Buddy Brown. The judge goes, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, all oh, hell. You can see he knows who I am. And then a couple of people around their fans and they're like, buddy, buddy, you know, what's up? You know, giving the rock ensemble, I'm sitting there, you know, what's going on? I see you, I see you. Judge says, uh, he crosses his arms. I can tell he's gonna make an example of me because I've seen that look from teachers all in my classrooms for a million years before. He says, tell me in three words, son, in three words, what problem you have with the American judicial system. And I give it a second, I go, yes, sir, your honor, I got it. O.J. Simpson, the whole place goes wild. The whole place goes absolutely ballistic. Some people in shock, some people falling out of their chairs laughing. I'm thinking it's pretty funny. I'm thinking, you know, I'm definitely the star of the show at this point, having a little fun with it. The judge kind of snickered a little bit, but he goes, well, what, what, what do you mean, O.J. Simpson? I said, that man killed his wife. O.J. Simpson chopped his wife's head off or had it done and admitted to most of it later on everybody knows it and he is down there right now in punta Gorda, florida 
on the seventh hole, trying to figure out if he should use his seven iron or his wedge for this next shot. That's why I don't believe in the American judicial system. And the whole place goes wild again. And the judge, at this point, he's lost control of his entire courtroom. And he's sitting there going, I, I gotta do something very, very quick. He stands up and he points and he says, Mr. Brown, you may leave. Whole place is dead quiet. Nobody can believe it worked. It actually worked. I pick up my book, which is the Charlie Daniels autobiography, by the way, it's badass, you should read it. I pick up my sunglasses, my hat that they wouldn't let me wear in there, my little coffee, I hit the door. There is a big old boy, cop. Cops always stand by the door for some reason in the courtroom, I guess, so nobody can get out. He's looking at me like just stern, posted up, right? Big old boy. He's holding the door for me. And I'm thinking, as soon as we get out in this hallway, he's about to tase me. Everybody in here knows it. I know it. <laughs> I'm going to just take off running. He holds the door for me and shuts it. Looks around. <laughs> that was pretty good. And I, must, you know, I just busted out laughing. He started laughing too. And he says, uh, by the way, kind of looking all around. Him. Oh, but buddy, I'm a big fan. Can I get a selfie real quick? <laughs> so we're out there in the hallway. I get a selfie with the cop. I shake his hand. And... Uh, Everybody in that courtroom got to have a little bit of fun that day. I really hope it goes well for the case. Like I said, you really should try to serve on a, uh, a jury panel at some point in your life. It is a lot of uh, really good experience. But in that day, I was taking the firing squad. So I knew who I was. I was not in the right state of mind. Uh, the whole thing lasted six minutes and 30 seconds. I started a timer on my watch. Five minutes for the judge to lay out the uh, details, minute and a half for your boy to get his ass kicked out.